Uh, 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 Welcome back. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! Look at that, that. No, you can't start with that. <gasps> we have to bleep it. I'm sorry. Um, what are we doing? Oh, um, so the, the, we were the fire grenades were filled with like gasoline or something. Yeah. Nagito died awfully. They they were so angry with. Okay, this is this is what happened. Let me let me tell you what happened. Everything step by step. Okay, I, I already figured it out. This is easy. This is easy trial and error. I actually figured this out. Um. Okay. So while everybody was looking, right? Everybody's looking. Someone wasn't looking, right? Someone trader wasn't looking. And they had Nagito right here. Every, everything was pre-recorded, so it doesn't matter. Um. They're saying, hey, Nagito, you better you better tell me what the fuck you know. And quit your bullshit. I'm gonna kill you. And they said, hey. This is what's gonna happen to you if you don't shut up. And so, I mean, look, you gotta look what I'm doing okay. right now. You gotta look, okay. And she, they stabbed the Monokuma plush. He's like, that's gonna be you if you don't tell me what's going on. And he's like, uh, I don't get, I don't believe you. And they're like, what if I got? And they stabbed his left, right arm. He goes, oh shit, oh fuck. And he's like, oh, I didn't know you were fuck serious. Like, yeah, I'm fucking serious, you son of a bitch. Now, give me all the shit you have. Wait, but he, if you wanted information out of him, he wouldn't have tied up the mouth. Well, that's what, so he wouldn't scream. Okay, now, look, I'm not done explaining. And then she lifts his right and right, left arm and left leg up slightly so he's hovering over the ground on his left side only for some reason. Like, this is a form of torture I learned somewhere. And then the fire, they switched out the fire. This is stupid. <laughs> Why are they switched up the file of fire grenades with gasoline? That's a lot. That seems, that seems very time consuming. And took all the other fire extinguishing stuff too. They got a screen, they stat. And the person that did it did was Kazuichi. So, did they put the Monokuma plushie on his stomach first and then stab the spear through him? Shit, I don't know. I don't. Why anime that? How would you take it out? You'd have to take out the spear and then put I it back in. I don't know. Or was the spear hanging up from the ceiling and then it fell on him? I never expected Nagiko to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. Also, he wasn't completely useless. There were times when we were only able to reach the truth because of him. But everything good and bad I have about him is gone. We'll never be confused about him again. We'll never be saved by him again. No, now's not the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. For now, I need to investigate everything about this body and catch my eye. Okay, his face. Oh, wait, what can I... Knife. Burnt rope. Knife. The knife is stabbed through Nagato's right hand. Ew. Ah, that's gross. Did the killer do this? How could they do something like so cruel? Where'd they get a knife? Was it from the final dead room or was it shop? I think there were hunting knives in the supermarket. This knife, it must be from the military base. No. Oh, or that. Military base? Ah, now that you mention it, you're right. It looks like a survival knife. By the way, it would look like the wounds on his left his legs and left arm were caused by the same knife. Which means after the killer was finished stabbing Nagito's legs and left arm, they stabbed the knife through his right hand. And then they finished him off with the spear. Then does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? Oh, they could have just killed him by stabbing him with a knife. I think... The spear I, was, he was alive. He was alive, and the fire killed him. The spear fell later. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Why did they need us to? Why did they? Why did they need to use the spear at all? That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? Yeah, to keep him alive until. So they didn't want to finish it off. Oh, to give him to give them an alibi. Yeah. So he, they could meet up with everybody mm -hmm. and let the spear, like, kill him, like, after all. The reason they used the spear, huh? 
Oh, 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 the burnt rope. I guess it burnt from the fire. Yeah. Hmm. Nagata's right wrist is tied up with rope. But it looks like the tip of the rope burnt off. Could this be a result of the fire? That's weird. If the rope is burnt off like this, why are Nagito's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when the when he was so close to the blaze? Good question. I don't know that. They'll explain that in the trial. Let's go to his face. Face. He must have been in a great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered with duct tape. Was this to keep Nagito from screaming for help? Jeez, what a horrible look on his face. The blood splattered all over. Doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to look at it. Oh, got a minute. Sorry, excuse me. Chiaki moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Nagito's face. And in one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. Hey, what? What are you doing? Ah, uh, it'll be fine. I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating here. Putting the tape back isn't isn't the issue. You ungrateful swine! You're gonna get cursed. Ah, uh, the blood on Nagito's face. It looks like it's mostly came from the slice off his left arm. Hmm. If that's if that's the case. It's no use. She's not listening. Hey, how about the blood splatter on his face? There's no blood under the duct tape. No blood under the duct tape? So that means it was on there before... Oh, okay, I get what she means. Under the... Yeah, I mean, it was on there before he died. Just keep it from yeah. screaming. The duct tape was uh, has crinkles. Like it was sticking towards the inside of his mouth, right? Nagato's probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. Seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagato's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got the wounds all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. Yeah, that makes sense. But what's wrong with that? Is it is that something we really need to worry about? I don't really get it, but just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yeah, you're right. Why? <laughs> Does it really matter? Anyway, this might be some kind of clue, to, too. I should remember it. Why? It was put on before he was killed. Yeah. Obviously. Okay, what else? The rope on his left, left hand. hand. There's a cut on his upper left arm. His legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. Probably the reason that the wound on his left arm doesn't look doesn't look that deep compared to his other wounds. But regardless, it does change the fact that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Hmm, there's something strange. Strange what? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think there's some blood from his left arm that was sliced, but does doesn't this blood look strange? It cuts off where his right hand in the middle of his palm. Uh, it's, it's kind of blurry, too. Maybe any glasses? Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's uh, as far as the blood could reach when it's splattered. Well, that would explain the blood on his palm, but... Hmm, there's something else that's strange? If you flip over in the back of his hand... There's also blood only on above the middle of the joint of the finger. You're right, this is the only on this. Why is it only on this part? See, it's just as I said, right? Isn't it strange, right? I win. Yeah, you. Sure, you win. Okay, but something weird about his hand having blood only on the reverse side and not the palm. It's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? Let's think about that. Why is the blood not on his palm? Or the back of his hand, either. Like, it's only on the tip of his fingers. Yeah. 
Do we have enough evidence right now to figure that out? Mm. I want to figure that out. I want to figure out everything before the trial happens. I want to be big brain. I want to be like the last trial where nothing was known. <laughs> Can I not look at left hand? Okay, a spear. A spear with a flashy ornament on it is implemented deeply into Nagito's stomach. There's no way around it. That looks like it's a fatal wound. Oh my, what's this? Such strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends from the tip of the handle, and there's an iron weight attached to it. I see, I see. You use the card as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? Of course not. Um, this is the spear of gun gear, right? You definitely just came up with that now. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did the spear come from? I feel like I saw it in Nazumi's castle. What? Nazumi castle? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. Damn you, mice! Damn you all to hell! I see. Even he doesn't know what's inside the castle. Well, more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle. Is that what that is? Yeah, there's a weight on the end. It looks like that part has blood on it, too. But for some reason, this selection of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that this selection of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Also, Chiaki mentioned this earlier, but apparently that spear came from the Zumi castle. It might be better if I confirmed that might later. Spear of gun... gun gear? Has a... a, a gun gear? Uh, does it really matter that only this part doesn't have blood in it? What the fuck? Was there tape around it or some shit? No. Alright, let's look at his feet. Both of the Nagas, those legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't be able- he wouldn't be able to- ha He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to the Monokuma file, the wounds on his legs are all stab wounds. Also, he's stabbed with them. He wasn't cut. Ouch. Ugh. Does that mean the killer didn't just tie up Naito? They also stabbed his legs? Why would the killer do something like that? They really hated him. At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge towards him. And they might have been torturing him. Torture? Well, I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in his chest, right? If you, dis if you disregard the spear in his chest, the other wounds were inflicted for no for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nagito's body were from the killer torturing him. If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nagito confess? Was it something that would have led to the traitor? Well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have had a deep grudge towards Nagito. Refusing to tell him- re refusing to let him die easily? I can totally understand the dark impulse like that. But even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? Yeah. Torture wounds. Um, I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagito's body. Jeez, I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. Even if I'm surprised at myself, does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body is right in front of me, and one of my peers is the killer responsible. And I have to investigate his bot his death so I can find his killer. Am I used to something as abnormal as that? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too. Oh. Geez. All right, let's head to Nozumi's castle. Did I? Oh, do we do lighter? the lighter? Oh, there we go. Ah, this is <clears throat> it's an oil lighter. This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here. Oh, an oil lighter. Someone probably wanted to keep it warm. Oh, really? It is almost a foolish thought. This is clearly cause of the fire. An oil lighter can continue to burn even if someone lets go of them. 
So using that, the curtains were set on fire. Using the oil lighter, huh? Oh. Using the oil lighter, huh? You think the killer set up some sort of trick with it? The killer planned to destroy the evidence by setting this wire house on fire. It caused a fire to destroy evidence? That's the only reason I can think of why a killer would set a uh, fire to their crime scene, but... Okay. Then they didn't do that? What do you mean? Well, he's making it seem like they didn't do that. It was timed, I think. Somehow. Now then, I guess that's enough investigating in the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagito, there should have been another reason as well. If not, they would have wouldn't have gone to the trouble of trying to tying him with rope, covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, there's no reason to inflict any wounds other than the fatal one. So what was that what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate other areas to figure that out. Alright, I should try investigating the other areas inside the warehouse first. The fire grenade. I think we already looked at that. So we can leave. Oh. Uh, okay. Hmm, there are a lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. The panels near the curtain in the back is tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? But why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here, I seem to recall. They should have been neatly put away. They're there to tip it over, the lighter. Yeah! See, look, you're right, you're right! Maybe they're the ones who made this mess? Oh, where the mess? Oh. Huh. Oh, when the door opened, it tipped over the thingies. Yeah. Huh. Look, they tipped over the panel by the entrance. It's really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason the panels were tipped over is, yeah, we figured it out, we're not stupid. It's because yeah. Akane, like, destroyed the door. It's because she opened it up. Something blocking the door. Yep, 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 God, we do oh, not- Why is this so long? Could it be? Was that it? And there's something else I've been wondering. These Monokuma panels are tipped over standing right in front of the entrance and back to the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, that line is, only, is the only one that's neat and orderly. Isn't this clearly strange? Strange, that means we can speculate this was done intentionally. Monokuma panels have been added. Yep. Oh, there's the music. MP3 player? Was this to like... To play that him? Him? Yeah. What do you mean him? You don't remember the music that was oh, playing was blarely? It, I thought it was to like, um, drown out Nagito screaming. That's what, that's what I assume. This is an MP3 player. That's even a speaker. There's even a speaker plugged into it. But why is it here? It looks like that weird music was playing from there. You know, the music that was blaring when the fire started. Yeah, you're right. Looks like it's uh, busted from getting drenched by the sprinklers. There's no mistaking it. The music was playing from that MP3 player. It's interesting because it, it wasn't playing before. It started playing when we went out. I don't disagree with that, but why was the killer playing music from this? The MP3 player was added. Tons of books. There are a bunch of books stacked on top of each other. Apparently, they contain Monokuma's poetry and photos. Sprinklers completely soaked them. I can't even turn the pages anymore. Well, it's not like I'm missing much. Okay. Well, go. that was nothing. Back of the Oh, well, the boxes? Tons, Tons of, of CDs. CDs. All these CDs are call copies of Monokuma's music. These should have been burned too. Okay. Sure, can we go? I guess we had to talk to everybody really? again. Looks like the side is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Even if there's an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. But it's better than the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing we were able to put the out the fire. But there was a lot of smoke. Good thing that we didn't go inside when we were throwing the grenades. 
I agree, if we did, we would have been caught by the sprinklers and became all wet and soggy. Miss Sonia, all wet. She's all drenched and soggy. Haha. <laughs> you were thinking that, huh? I, I wasn't thinking that at all. Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking, how do you mean? Just, just scrolling with me. Oh, my screwing? How lewd. Please don't look at me with such fearful eyes. I only imagined it for a second. Kazuichi, you should probably just keep your mouth shut already. Wow. Well, even though I did say I was gonna friggin' kill him, there's no way I would have actually done it. I was just upset, you know? Well, think about the countdown after we live through the trash trial. Looks like Sonya is focused on investigating the warehouse, which reminds me, there's something I needed to ask her about. Now that we've pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey, Sonya, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagito set in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Right before it exploded. You said something like this, right? Oh god, we don't have to... Alright, it's not a bomb. Why did you know the bombs were fake? Um, well... It's not all, either. When we were looking for the bombs. Why were you in the, at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching for, at the central island. Plus, when I called you, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Do you... do you suspect me? I mean, you are suspicious. It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Jesus shit, you son of a bitch! What the fuck? <laughs> Sonya. Guess I'm terribly sorry. I was panicking. Jesus shit, you son of a bitch. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was too funny. I shall come down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered that there was a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? At first I was worried that someone might have used them for nefarious reasons, that's why I announced if I announced it to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Nagito planted bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate them? And as I expected, the bombs have disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered. And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagato brought were from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. I can't go over the fact that you called me a son of a bitch. <laughs> How did you find out that the bombs where the military base were fake? Because I attempted to use one of them. What? I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door of the H.O. Ruin. At the time, I still believed that the bombs were real. So I thought I could use one of them to gain the entrance to the ancient Ruin. What the fuck am there? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> God damn it! All to hell! Oh shit! The the vines and the trees are catching fire. <laughs> if those bombs were the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagito took them. That is why I knew that it was fake. However, I did think it was strange when Nagato blew up the lo hotel lobby. <laughs> that bomb was real, and I could not stop thinking about it. <laughs> but upon further reflection, that might have been Nagato's plan all along. Like in Kazu, they're stuck. He's like, <laughs> I'm glitching up! <laughs> <laughs> the bomb is glitching! <laughs> he showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs that he set were real as well. <sighs> so the Nagito's action was extremely calculated. But the problem is his reason for doing it. 
With this, I have explained everything. There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. I don't trust you still. Alright, I pretty much also finished looking for clues inside the warehouse. I was able to find some clues, but there's still so many things I don't understand yet. You look worried. Yeah, I am. At the time like this, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. You mean it's good to investigate other places as well? You might be right. There are several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonia mentioned, plus the plushie factory next door, Mizumi Castle, where the spear originally came from, and Nagito's room, too. If I'm going to understand the reason for his actions, I need to know more about him. I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Hey guys, it's about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too! You're kind of pushing that. In response to Chiaki, the others gathered around him. I agree. Was... I was thinking about proceeding the... another area. It seems we had the same idea. But is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. We don't have a choice. There aren't enough of us. Besides, we're investigating all we can here. I guess you're right. Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to pierce, piece this incident together. So we need to search for them in, uh, in areas, probably. Well, al alternatively, if there aren't any clues other areas either, we'd give up completely. We'd have to give up completely. You don't really need to say that. Then it's okay if we leave this place? It's okay. Well. There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way to accept to, accept to do... Uh, there's no other way to... There's no other way except to do it. Now, in order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Right, the plushy factory. The Trying killer like grabbed a plushy here. Life size Monokuma plushies are crammed inside an enormous basket. It looks like there aren't any clues here. I have never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. However, while I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. This again. The bombs that were s went off in the lobby might have s set up here. That might have been set up here? Huh? If you hide a bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would have made a frightening weapon. Do you think the group was f uh... Uh, do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? A plushy bomb is an act of terrorism. Let us rip these right away so we can confirm it. Hold on. If there was a bomb inside these, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly mess with it? Either way, it's all gravy. All gravy? What the hell was that mean? Stop! There's no bomb! You'll know if you just pick me up. See? All you feel is soft weight of cotton. Hmm. You're right. Then where did Nagito obtain the bomb he used? Then we already established that in the final dead room. I wonder. If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it was from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fake. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought I kept quiet. If I, I thought if I kept quiet, uh, it would foreshadow that a killing was going to happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Phew, I feel relieved. But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or the factory, then you brought it from the octagon, clearly. I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonya. Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. Let's try it! Did I say something I shouldn't have said? It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. I mean, technically, there's always a bomb inside a Monokuma, though. Yeah. 
That reminds me, when we saw Nagito's video message on the laptop. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how do you time the message so perfectly? No, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the de detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. At the time, Nagito should have already been killed, which means that video was recorded in advance. That's right, besides that video, there might be the date there might be data on this laptop that could be used as a clue. With that thought in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop part. It's no use, it's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe there is really there maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Okay. It's an enormous machine, but it's stopped for now. It looks like nothing like that. Apparently the bomb that were the bombs that were stuffed in this truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, this truck looks like it came from the military base. Nagito must have brought it from there. Other than that, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. I guess the room? Break room is the other side of the store. This is where the pin the fire is. Anything inside? And there's nothing on the floor that looks like a clue. Not even trash. Okay. to look oh military base which is over here should we continue next time um yeah okay bye bye